I was a bit annoyed the other day. Do you know what I did to cheer myself up? I bought myself new knickers. Is that a general girl thing? Do all you other ladies cheer up when you buy new knickers? Pow! As you might know, there was no video last week because I was visiting my dad and my grandma on the Isle of Man, which is all there is on the Isle of Man, really. Grandmas. Lots of old people, which means lots of slow drivers, age concern shops, and Jeremy Clarkson, who lives in a lighthouse. Although I can't talk about being old fashioned because while I was there, I bought this George Formby box set. Finally found one that doesn't repeat half the films I've already got. Eee, turned out nice, I get on it. Another thing that was really old on the Isle of Man was the cinema. It only had two screens, and me and my dad went to see Iron Man 3. And you know how usually, if it says the film starts at 7, there's adverts and trailers for about half an hour, and then the film starts? Well, in the Isle of Man, since hardly anyone shows up anyway, they started the damn thing early, and we missed the beginning. And for me being an Iron Man nerd, that is not on, so anyone wants to see Iron Man 3 again, come get me. It reminded me of the airport too, because you can get the ferry to the Isle of Man, but it costs a fair bit and takes about three hours, or you can fly there for a much cheaper price and it only takes half an hour, but if you fly from mainland England you have to fly from Blackpool Airport. Oh man, if there was ever a pathetic excuse for an airport, that's it. Not knocking it though, I think it's quite cute and surprising how it stays in business, but basically it's the tiniest, most derelict airport you can imagine, and it's made up of about four rooms, one being the check-in, one being the customs area, which only has one scanner, one being the departures lounge, which only has five gates, and then a smaller room that serves as the executive lounge. Obviously, the executive lounge is for people with higher class tickets, right? That's how it works. And as I checked in, the lady told me that I could go wait in the executive lounge, and I thought maybe it was just for our flight or something. But no, but the entire airport population was in there, because it turns out that there were only two flights taking off that morning, and they thought we might as well just use it, because no one else would. There was free food, free booze, comfy sofas, the works. To be honest, I don't know why Blackpool Airport even has an executive lounge because it turns out that there's no such thing as first class, business class or even club class there. You either get economy class or you get the ferry. But none of that matches up to the plane itself. It's the best part of the whole thing. It's like a comedy sketch. Basically, when it's time to board the plane, the gate doesn't have a hallway or even a fence. You just walk straight onto the airfield and weave in and out of all the planes until you get to yours, which is a tiny prop plane that only holds about 15 people. And then you're greeted by an air steward. This is the best bit, because he puts the mini step ladder down so he can take the whole four steps up onto the plane, and then he greets everyone in turn and offers you a boiled sweet. Then he puts everyone's bags in the back compartment. Then he runs up to the front of the plane and does the whole emergency safety routine bit, without a loudspeaker, obviously, because the plane's so small you just don't need one. And then he jumps in the cockpit, puts on a hat and a headset, and he's the bloody pilot too! So he's the boarding assistant, the general air steward, the baggage guy, the safety briefer, and the pilot. One man sure. And good on him, it's impressive. Hope they pay him extra. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat some Colts Foot Rock, which is one of the best English sweets ever. The true taste at North. Gotta watch your teeth though. Ow! Bye.